In this problem, we're told a fireworks shell is accelerated from rest to a velocity of 65 meters per second over a distance of 0.25 meters. A, how long did the acceleration last? And B, calculate the acceleration. So the first thing you always wanna do is draw what's going on, right? So imagine this is our firework, right? And so we know the initial velocity of this firework shell is gonna be zero meters per second, right? Then it's gonna travel upwards a distance of 0.25 meters, right? And at the end of this distance, its velocity is gonna be 65 meters per second, right? So that's what's going on. And so what we're trying to do is solve for how long did this last? So we're trying to find t, right? And we're also trying to find the acceleration. So we're trying to find a. So that's what's going on. And so now let's write down the given. So when you write down the given, you just want to write down the kinematic variables we're given, right? So we're told, so we know the initial velocity, right, is zero because it starts from rest. So zero meters per second. We know the distance it's going to travel, right? I'm going to call this delta y. So 0.25 meters. We know the final velocity, right, the end of this interval, it's going to be 65 meters per second. We know the time, right, we're trying to solve for the time, right? So for A, we're trying to find how long did this last, right? So how long did it travel this? And then for B, we're trying to find the acceleration. So we'll just say both of these are question mark because we don't know. So now that we have these laid out, let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, we're trying to find how long did the acceleration last? So we're trying to find the time, right? So we're trying to solve for T. And so the way we do it is by using one of the kinematic equations. So what you want to do is look at the variables we have and then try and solve for the other one using one of the equations. So notice we have v sub zero, we have delta y, and we have v. And so if you look at this equation right here, number two, delta x equals v sub zero plus v divided by two times t. So notice uh, delta x and delta y, by the way, are just irrechangeable. It doesn't make a difference, right? So we have the velocity, right, the final velocity. We have the initial, and then we have delta y. So the only variable that would be left is t. So all we have to do is plug it in and solve for t. So it's delta y is equal to v plus v sub zero divided by two times t, right? We want to solve for t, so let's just plug in the variables and solve. So 0.25 is equal to v plus v sub zero, right? So uh, 65 plus zero, right? So 65 plus zero is just 65. And then divide by two times uh, t, which is what we're solving for. So I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna multiply both sides by two to get rid of the uh, two right there, right? So two times 0.25 is 0.5 which equals 65 times t. Solving for t, you can just divide by 65 to cancel it there, and you get t equals 0.5 divided by 65. And when you do this, you'll get t equals 0 0.00769, and then keep in mind time is measured in seconds, right? Because we're using meters per second, so seconds. So this is gonna be basically how long it accelerates for. So this is your answer to A. Now let's move on to B. So for B, I'm also gonna write this in here since we know it now. So 0 0.00769 seconds. So now we're gonna to wanna to do is solve for the acceleration, right? So uh, notice we have four kinematic variables now. So when you have four, you can basically use any of the equations as long as it contains that variable. So notice we can't use this one right here, the one we used in the last one, because it doesn't even contain A. So we can't solve for A if we don't have uh, the variable A in it, right? So uh, we're not gonna use that one, but you can basically use any one you want. Uh, I think the easiest one is the first one, which is V equals V sub zero plus A times T. Because we have v, we have v sub zero, right? And we have time now, so we can solve for a. So all we have to do is just plug it in. So v is going to be 65, which equals v sub zero, which is just zero. So we can ignore it. Uh, times a, or just a times t, which is 0 0.00769. So solving for a, you just want to divide, right? So 0 0.00769. So do 65 divided by 0 0.00769. And when you do that, you're going to get uh, a is equal to 8, 4, 5, 2, and then uh, 0.53. The units are going to be meters per second squared. So you can just round this to 8, 4, 5, 0, right? Meters per second squared, however you want to round it. Just do, do it how your teacher wants you to do. But basically, 8,450 meters per second squared, that's going to be how fast it's going to accelerate, right? So this is the acceleration or your answer to B. So this is B, uh, this was A, and yeah. So these are going to be your answers. And hopefully you found this useful.